and hello again. If you are continuing from the uh, overall introduction, then you should already know that this video is about software engineering major from inside the software engineering digital uh, transformation program. So let's get into business. So in this slide set, I'm going to be talking about software engineering major. This major exists as the other option inside software engineering and digital transformation program, which is at La Peranta campus. So let's take a look at what will be uh, included and what's it going to be like studying software engineering as your master's major. First of all, like said, uh, software engineering can be found as a part of the software engineering and digital transformation program. So you enroll or register to this software engineering and digital transformation program as your master's major. And when you are planning or drafting your uh, personal study plan, you are expected to select the courses that correspond to software engineering major. Of course, uh, this program or this major is at La Peranta campus. All the courses that are mandatory to this program are organized either online or at La Peranta campus. And unlike many other programs, uh, for example, in our software engineering department, a software engineering major has a mandatory minor. Usually this means that you are taking uh, up to uh, 24 credits of computational engineering, uh, business studies, electrical engineering, or industrial engineering. Uh, up to 24, meaning because we also accept 20 credit uh, minors if you are in a new enough or recently uh, refreshed study plan. And in general, in software engineering major, we expect the students to be able to be at campus if requested. So uh, there is, of course, the reality that most of you will be working by the later stages of this program. So while we do not expect that much ability to be at campus, there might be some events or some courses that require you to be able to be at campus. I know that the, doing this uh, or com completing this program as 98% long distance has been theoretically possible in the uh, in the near past, but this is not a formal feature. This is about selecting the minor correctly, selecting the elective courses correctly, and so on and so on. So we are at La Peranta campus, and we, while we of course understand that you will be working while you study, or most likely working while you study, we expect you to be able to join us if necessary, or if you want to take a part of some uh, event-driven course, for example. So topic specific to software engineering, that's, that is something that's not that much thought in other programs are, for example, quality assurance. What, uh, so what we do in quality assurance, what is software testing? How do we ensure quality of software processes? What are uh, software architectures, how do they affect our quality assurance work? What is software maintenance? How do we maintain legacy systems? How do we develop or modernize existing software solutions? What's re-engineering, how it's done, and how can we extend the life cycle of already existing things? Also, uh, concepts like requirements engineering. How do we manage requirements? How do we get, gather these requirements from stakeholders? How do we do expectation management? How does this affect the design of software architecture? So basically, if I have to say only three concepts to you, those would be software quality assurance, software maintenance, and software architecture. These are the focus areas over other programs or other majors in our software uh, engineering major at our software engineering department. Here's a quick look, for example, of our courses. Like said, we do expect you to take uh, minor studies. That's the difference. We expect you to study uh, quality assurance. We expect you to understand data intensive systems, software maintenance, software and systems architecture in top of the 
uh, joined uh, core courses that are marked red here. Also, as a part of your studies, you can take a couple of courses as specialization studies on which you can select freely from our list of potential or possible uh, available courses. The full list of what is available to you is available in your study plan in SISU. And of course, you can always talk with your uh, study counselor or uh, study guides for more options and possibilities. So that's the very short uh, introduction into what is software engineering major and how it differs from the other majors at our department's different master's degree programs. Thank you for listening, and I think that you are now about to be taken into the uh, presentation by the next head of major. So thank you, and bye-bye.